Hi, this is a Cubase quick tip on how to um, quickly master kind of your tracks. It's not really mastering, it's just setting a limiter on your output to get decent levels. So I repeat, this is not really the whole processing of mastering. It's just how once your song is done mixing, you can just apply this technique and you'll get an output file that's loud enough and then, um, yeah, you can then send it for review, for approval. And um, here we go. So I have a song here. It's just a drum loop. So you see, that's my song. It's not uh, peaking. I've EQ'd it, and um, I'm happy with that. That's my final song. So um, open up the mixer now, and um, we're going to be applying the... Uh, the processing on the stereo out. So um, if you don't see your stereo out, go into the visibility um, tab here on the left. And yeah, make sure you can see your stereo out. Um, first thing we're going to do is make sure that the fader here is zero. So control click on the fader, just set it to zero if it's not uh, already zero. Um, then we're going to go into the inserts, type limiter. So now we have a basic limiter. Um, we'll set it to auto release here for now. And um, we'll set the output minus 1 dB. So this minus 1 here will make sure that our track will peak at minus 1 dBFS. Um, that just gives us 1 dB of headroom. Uh, before zero, I like doing this. You can do whatever. You can do minus 0 0.5, minus 0 0.3, or a zero. Um, I'm doing minus one. And um, the only parameter we're going to be um, adjusting here after that is the input. So we're aiming, if you see here, a gain reduction, GR. We're aiming around three to six dBs of gain reduction max. So um, I'll play my song. Okay. So I'm happy with that. Um, once this is done, you can just go and export your track and um, it will sound loud enough. It won't sound crushed. It won't be uh, clipping. Um, so that's just a basic way of getting your tracks in a certain to a certain level that's um, competitive. Um, yeah, that's a quick tip.